Come on, son. When it comes to that, I've got you covered. And you know what? Uh, speaking of getting people covered, we also like to give people some ideas of how to spend time, maybe do a little reading. Maybe you didn't get to this weekend, but get to this week. Well, that's why we have our Morning Blend Book Club. And here is this week's edition. Hi, my name is Emily, and I'm with Pasco County Libraries. Today, I'd like to talk about my Morning Blend Book Club recommendations. The first book is Patron Saints of Nothing by Randy Ribay. This Florida teen reads pick will take readers on a journey to the Philippines as Jay, a high school senior, searches for answers after his cousin's death. Jay's plans for the future are upturned in what he feels at the sudden passing of his cousin, and this novel approaches death in a way that feels relatable for any young person that's faced the loss of a loved one. More than mixed race readers will identify with the alienation Jay experiences, not only with his Filipino culture, but with the characters back home who don't understand the weight he's carrying on his thrilling journey. Overall, Patron Saints of Nothing is a book for everyone. It's a story about growing up, grief, seeking truth, and staying true to one's convictions, even if the truth you find isn't the one you want. Also centering on another journey, my next book is Manana Land, written by Pam Yunos Ryan. This is a middle grade novel from the author of Esperanza Rising, following the story of a 12 year old named Max, who loves listening to his abuelo's fantastical tales about guardians and mythical Manana Land. Max loves playing soccer, and his big plans to try out for the village team get complicated when family secrets are revealed after his overprotective father won't let him go to the training camp. What happens next? takes Max on a perilous quest to search for the legendary land of his abuelo's stories. The story is an allegorical account representing migrants and the people who help them along the way. Tween readers will be able to relate to how Max matures as a character and the feelings he experiences when facing important choices he hadn't considered before. This is a beautiful story with a magical realism twist, perfect for the end of summer, Hispanic Heritage Month, or anyone who believes that the promises of tomorrow are worth fighting for today. Thank you and happy reading.